This is Michael J. Quill Depot, Manhattan Division. Located in the heart of Midtown, this is the largest depot in New York City, along with many bus routes. Their fleet consists of RTS, LFS, LFS Arctic, XD60, XE40, Orion 7 Older Next Gen, and D60HF Galaxy. These are their routes. Some are shared with Manhattanville Depot. On April 26, 1996, this area was once a New York headquarters and sleeping quarters for Greyhound. Then in 1996, the MTA purchased the facility at the cost of $35 million. It started operations in spring of 1998 at the West Side Depot, replacing Walnut and 100 Street Depot at the time. Then on July 13, 2000, it was renamed Michael J. Crow Depot, named after one of the founders of the TWU. Some of the routes received from MJQ are from the Hudson Pier Depot when it closed in 2003 which explains why there's a lot of routes there. MJQ is well known for its cleanliness and taking care of their buses. They don't play around when it comes to that. But the downside of it of MJQ is that there's a lot of select bus services on the crosstown routes. In my opinion, there shouldn't be a SBS on crosstowns. With the exception of the M14s, once the L train shutdown begins next year. Otherwise, the M60, in my opinion, is the true SBS. Overall, MJQ is pretty much a world cost in the Manhattan division. Since most routes connect to major areas like Times Square and the waterfronts, <clears throat> they take care of the buses and some of the routes are fun. But the downside again is too many SBS, SBS on Crosstowns. It doesn't make any sense since it's already doing this job as a Crosstown. This depot gets an A. This is my first review. If anybody knows more than I do about MJQ, feel free to comment. This is Shadow signing off. Like what you just saw? Well, click this happy blue bus on the left to subscribe to catch up. Also click the next two videos on the right for more content. And also hit the bell to be notified on an update. Thank you for watching this video.